With the proliferation of Internet of Things, the threat of hacks or attacks is higher than ever. On this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we'll visit a company that creates devices to solve this problem. They're dedicated to helping device manufacturers create smart, connected, and secure products for consumers. Microchip was born out of um, explosion. We, were, we came from a company called General Instrument, and uh, I started shortly after it became Microchip, and we learned how that we didn't want to be what we were, so we changed it. Uh, the leadership here comes from large companies that didn't like being what we were. We wanted to go off and create something that was unique and different and values driven, and we did. In the last 30 years, we've changed radically. From those simple days where non-volatile memory was our base, to now we build microcontrollers where a little bit of intelligence spread around the world. From simple remote controls, to in many cases, we've got a thousand of our products in Airbus airplanes doing marvelous things today and more to come. Microchip was creating IoT devices before the buzzword existed. They created devices, semiconductors or computer chips that are embedded in consumer products. They use hardware and software to handle specific functions in an application. They design and develop unique chips that store secret certificates and keys to authenticate communication to protect those devices from being hacked. Microchip secret products basically allow you to add security to your design, to your product in a very easy way and that is very non-intrusive in your design. So you can essentially have your design almost complete and add security quite late in your process, right? without having to react to everything. So the stuff we make is all different sh shapes, sizes, and forms of distributed intelligence. Little bits of tiny brain everywhere, because that's what we do to your cell phone, to your thermostat. Everything now is a little bit of brain stuffed all over the house hopefully talking to another well, that distributed intelligence, that little bit of tiny brain is staggering everywhere. Everything now is smart. That opens up the door wide open to massive amount of risk because everything is, is easily addressable, and easily accessible, which makes it all prone to someone else doing bad things with it. Our job is to figure out how to make that as difficult as possible. You can almost never make it impossible. We want the good guys to be protected and the bad guys to go where it's easier to do bad things, which means not in our space. Basically, we need to have solutions that protect or secure devices regardless of the, uh, the type of attacks that would be mounted against the devices of our clients. And basically, we need to, de to develop products that can protect against all of those attacks. Microchip technology is unique in its ability to help designers navigate the challenging issues of embedded IoT design. What we do at Microchip is semiconductors or the building blocks that will help you to protect from a hardware perspective security breaches in the industry. We provide the secure, the smart, and the connected, but we also provide the tools that are required for a design engineer to be able to develop his solutions. The semiconductor can take on many different functions. They're gonna be used to give commands that may cause a refrigerator to cool. They may give commands for your car to move forward. So they're the brains of the system. In the future, Obviously, Microchip is uh, focused on bringing that security technology that we have into other markets like automotive to be able to secure the car network, so the network that is in every, every car out there. So naturally, one of the, moving forward, one of the focus for our products is to bring security and safety together. According to Gardner's 2017 industry report, Microchip is the leader in 8-bit microcontroller market share and number three in overall worldwide microcontroller market share. Microchip is involved in uh, many different industries, uh, consumer, automotive, industrial, aerospace, defense. But there is a common thread that pulls throughout this is that our needs for security keeps increasing. Uh, if we look at the consumer in the home, um, devices, you know, we need to make sure that they don't get hacked for, you know, the people that are living there. In the automobile, we need to make sure that, um, again, that an intruder can't get into the network of the car and cause it to do something that isn't safe. 